President Trump rolled out the first phase of his Israeli-Palestinian deal of the century as Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza protested. CBN Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl has that story. Rioters attacked the Bahrain embassy in Iraq in protest to the U.S. plan rolled out at the Peace to Prosperity workshop in Bahrain. Palestinians rioted in the West Bank as the U.S. offered them a potential $28 billion investment deal over the next 10 years. We want this to become not a United States plan. We want this to become an international plan. So now that the plan is out there, we're looking for changes. The Palestinian Authority boycotted the event because the plan doesn't satisfy their political demands like creating an independent state. The national rights are not real estate sold and bought with money and reaching a political solution that guarantees freedom, dignity and independence and legitimacy for our people must be before any economical program or project because this would create stability and security for all. But Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu said the plan could work. It's a welfare-based Palestinian economy mm -hmm. and what the, uh, what uh, Jared and Jason have proposed uh, in the Bahrain conference is basically to change welfare into investment and actually connect the two. I think that's a brilliant idea. How do I know? Because we did it in Israel and it worked. <laughs> that's why we are where we are today. Other reactions were mixed. The thing that's very obvious to me is the following. Uh, number one, this is an economic plan that if it's implemented, is obviously going to do enormous benefit to the Palestinian people. Number two, obviously it isn't a substitute for the politics. If we managed to do it 25 years ago with significantly less money, I'm pretty sure that it can be done today with the amounts of money and with the private sector participation uh, if we can achieve that hope of peace. Yep. Uh, for everybody to start working together to achieve what we're trying to achieve. 39 countries from around the world attended the joint U.S.-Bahrain-sponsored economic conference. In his opening comments, Trump's senior advisor Jared Kushner said the summit was intended to stop repeating what didn't work in the past and look at the Israeli-Palestinian conflict through a different lens. My direct message to the Palestinian people is that despite what those who have let you down in the past tell you, President Trump and America have not given up on you. This workshop is for you. The vision we developed and released, if executed correctly, will lead to a better future for the Palestinian people, a future of dignity, prosperity, and opportunity. For Israel, there's already signs of a payoff Bahrain's foreign minister told Israeli press that his country recognizes Israel's right to exist and wants peace with the Jewish state. Alpha, Omega.